The New Mexico landscape is full of prehistoric remnants and, if you know what you're looking for, you might be able to spot some of that rich past. Dr. Thomas Williamson, curator of paleontology at the New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science, says the state's geologic record spans about half a billion years. So we have from late Cambrian time, which is in the early Paleozoic, it's about, you know, 400 million years or so up until the recent. Dr. Williamson says a good place to spot some late Paleozoic marine fossils is in northern New Mexico. There were shallow seas covering large parts of the state. Uh, so you find large amounts of late Paleozoic, things like brachiopods, crinoids. There were um, organisms living in shallow seas. Around the metro, the Sunport area can be a great place to find some fossils as well. Like around the airport, a lot of those gravels um, date back to the last ice age. And, and a lot of those gravel pits, uh, you find ice age mammals in, like mammoths, camels, horses, things like that, dating back to about uh, 10 to 50,000 years uh, about that. However, you can't just pick up and take a fossil if you find one. Well, it depends on the fossil. In the United States, it is illegal to collect vertebrate fossils from federal lands without some sort of a permit. The doctor recommends taking a photo, getting the coordinates using GPS if you can, and sending the info back to the Museum of Natural History before taking further steps. For those wanting to get a little more serious in their fossil digging, you can always volunteer at the museum. Typically, volunteers can, can uh, come in, they can train to prepare fossils, to help us um, extract fossils from the rocks that we collect. Uh, we often take volunteers out with us out in the field to help us collect stuff. Scott Brown, CareQE, News 13.